Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, we have to find the resultant force of these four forces acting on this object. So this object right here is in the middle. We got a force acting this way at four newtons, this way at five newtons, two newtons, three newtons. So how are we going to find the resultant force of all four of these? So adding all of these up, right, head to tail, that would be pretty annoying to do. What you can do with this type of question if you're given forces that are acting in the opposite direction of each other, you can just find the result in between those two forces. So you could kind of switch two forces into one force. So notice, for example, we got three newtons acting this way. So let's forget about the four newtons and the five newtons for now. We got three newtons pulling the object this way. We got two newtons pulling the object this way. So what's the result in between these two forces going to be? Well, the object's going to be pulled by one newton this way. So let's draw this object again and the result in between these two is just going to be one newton this way. That should be a straight line. Okay, now what about these two right here? They're going in the exact opposite direction of each other. So we got four newtons this way, five newtons this way. So that means the resultant is going to be one newton this way, like that. So a force of one newton this way and one newton down on this object is the exact same. The resultant of this object, where this object ends up moving, is going to be the exact same as if this object was being pulled by these four forces. So we took these four forces and then switched it into two forces. And this is just a lot easier to deal with. So to find the resultant, we basically have to add these vectors uh, head to tail. So I'm going to take this vector, shift it over like that. So we got this vector plus this vector resultant right there. Okay, and this is a 90 degree angle triangle. We're just assuming that these are perpendicular here. At least they look perpendicular in the question. So uh, what can we do? We can find out what this resultant vector is going to be. We can also find out its direction. We can solve for that theta. And notice this is 1 and 1. So hopefully you notice that it is a special triangle. So this is 45 degrees, 45 degrees. And this is root 2 if you do Pythagoras theorem on that you would get root 2 for the magnitude of that resultant. And this is 45 degrees here, right? So the resultant force is going to be root 2 newtons. And now the direction gets a little bit tricky. So if we assume that this is north, uh, east, south, west, well, the resultant is going like this way. And it's 45 degrees. This theta is 45 degrees, so it's like right in the middle. So it's actually going southwest. So we could say root 2 newtons southwest. Uh, if you don't want to include these directions, then we can say that uh, the direction, we can make it relative to this 3 newton force and the 5 newton force. So we could say that uh, this root 2 newtons is 45 degrees relative to 3 newtons, right, right here, and also 45 degrees relative to 5 newtons, because 45 degrees relative to 3 newtons can also be this way, right? So we've got to make sure that uh, we state that it's this direction, so we've got to include this 5 newton as well. It's in between 3 newtons and 5 newtons, so we would say and 45 degrees relative to 5 newtons. And these two are the same by coincident, just because this, uh, this is an isosceles triangle. But like, let's say this was uh, 30 here, then this here would be 60. And then we would say 30 degrees relative to 3 newtons, and then 60 degrees relative to 5 newtons. Right? But since it's being split right in half, it's 45 and 45. 
So either way, you could say root 2 newtons, that's definitely the um, magnitude of that resultant. So it's root 2 newtons, whether you want to state the direction as southwest, if you're dealing with an actual compass, or if there is no compass, you could say 45 degrees relative to 3 newtons, and then 45 degrees relative to 5 newtons.